You'll each have two minutes to answer the question. If necessary, one minute for a rebuttal. Now, when your two minutes is up, I'll probably do this to you, okay? Uh, try and wrap it up just as quickly as you can, you know, a few seconds after that. Uh, and then we'll just keep this going smoothly. Okay. Take two, take two minutes to introduce yourself. Tell us what we want to know about today. Uh, first of all, my name is Art Garrison. I am running for the 126th Assembly District. Uh, I want to thank uh, the uh, Southern Tier Tea Party. I want to thank you all for coming out. I especially want to thank our friends in the media. Uh, it's uh, good to see that uh, they're paying attention. Uh, we sure appreciate that. Uh, I'm a small businessman. My wife and I own Family Hobby and Crafts in Vestal on the Park Bike. I live in the town of Union. I have a son who is a senior at UE High School and a daughter who is at SUNY Oswego. I'm upset, like many of you are. I'm upset with the way the state of New York is going. I'm unhappy with the representation that Donald Lopardo has been giving us. We continue to lose jobs. We continue to lose population. Our seniors are forced out of their homes because they're overtaxed. We have to change. We need to go in a new direction. Just like you, you're upset. I took the next step and decided to run the New York State Assembly because it's the State Assembly that really is the driving force to drive people out of this area. We've seen Donald Lopardo's voting record. It's horrendous. Her votes on taxes, her votes against business. She scores 15 out of 100, 25 out of 100 by the local or the state business groups that have been watching her. 45 out of 100 from Unshackle Upstate. We can't continue with that sort of representation. So I hope you will consider my candidacy, and I hope that tonight, when you listen to Jason and I talk, you can make a decision, an intelligent decision, on who to vote for. Thank you. Um, my name is Jason Stokes, running for State Assembly. I'm an Indicap firefighter. I've got two wonderful children and uh, I've been married for 13 years to the same woman. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, I, the way that I do things is I try to make, and this may sound crazy to some of you, but God is the most important thing in my life, really. So in order for me to get to know you and you to get to know me, I try to include prayer in everything that I do. So I'm going to pray, and I hope that you will, you will pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. We ask that you would bless it and that you would let your Holy Spirit be with us and we would be able to discern with the help of the Holy Spirit what is true and what our intent and what our integrity is. And we ask these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Now, what I am about is solutions. I, I'm... I am. I, I don't sugarcoat things. I and I know that you, the people, not me, not Art, not any politician, no one person is the solution. The people are the solution. And anybody that's not working toward opening political office to you is just working toward their own re-election. And they may try to sound like they actually have the solutions. They may try to sound like they are the solution. But if they're not trying to bring you into politics, then they're wrong. And they, don't, they shouldn't be in politics. Because if they are trying to sell you that bad bill of goods, that, that they, they have the solution, they're wrong. You are the solution. And anybody that's not trying to make you more accessible or make government more accessible to you, then they're not, they're not really helping anybody. They may think they they had they know how to balance the budget or how to how to you know bring prosperity back, but anyway, that's my time. Thank you. And for the first question, railway state pensions are a major con are a contributing factor in driving New York State 
and local municipalities into bankruptcy. How will your administration address this very important issue? Uh, Mr. Garrison, you'll be first. Thank you. The statement's absolutely true. Uh, pensions are a driving force, and anyone who tries to cut the budget in New York without addressing state employees, their salaries, and their benefits is going nowhere. Uh, the huge percentage of our tax dollars goes to those areas. We're not going to salvage the budget counting paper clips or turning the lights off early. That's not really where, the, where things are. If you look at Donna Lopardo's website, you'll see that she's endorsed by each and every one of the state uh, employee unions. You know whose side she's on. We need to renegotiate and we need to negotiate hard on pensions, on benefits, and on salaries. We don't want to have to cut state jobs. But we can't have the golden parachutes ready for each and every state employee. We'd much rather have something comparable to what's in, to, in the, the private field. Uh, if someone is a secretary for the state, they shouldn't be making 50% more than a secretary at an accounting firm is making. We, we should be in comparable levels, and that includes their benefits, like their pension fund. We really have to look at a, a new tier for incoming uh, state employees so that we don't have the golden balloon. Unfortunately, one of the problems is the state runs on a cash accounting basis instead of using general accounting principles. So when they negotiate one of these great deals uh, that have a, a big payment at the end, uh, it's not accounted for in the current budget. We need to change that. Thanks. Two minutes, ten seconds. I'd like to move around a little bit. <laughs> um, I think that what we should do is incentivize a program where people are actually responsible for their own retirements. Me, being a firefighter, I am part of the state retirement system, but I think it's, it is the worst the, the worst thing in the world for for people to have a guaranteed paycheck that while while there is a decreasing amount of people here to carry the load now and meanwhile those people may or may not have been responsible with the money that they've been making the whole time they were employed I want to see I want to see New York State a new tier where the people that come on board are, they're paying for their own retirement. And because I, I think it's, it's nonsense for a decreasing New York State population to still carry the same load that they've always had to carry. Now the thing is, now as, as uh, Art had alluded to, there are, there's union backing, there's, there's so many different things, there's lobbyists that, that have their grasp on our legislators. Now, do you think that without opening government to the people, without opening you, or opening government so that you can get involved, do you think the people that are in charge are actually going to make the change that I just spoke of? No, they're not. So the solution goes back to you being able to get more involved. And if you go to my website, it's check out mission number one. It's how to level the playing field and how to open government to you. So do I have any more time? Yep. All right. How much? All right. The first thing I want to do is get rid of the fear that people have when it comes to getting involved. Because these are the people that are actually going to do the right thing, that are going to get us fiscally responsible. Now, right now, people don't realize it, but they're faced with the question, what happens to me if I get elected and then I don't get reelected? That means I'll have given up everything I was once working toward and I'll have nothing. So we're actually, we are let to have that fear by our politicians, and it's wrong. And there, there is a solution to that. All right. Thank you.